Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your bi-weekly readings for the weeks starting March 14th and March 21st, 2016. Um, and this reading is for Aquarius. So please bear in mind these are general readings. Um, and so these energies may or may not play out for you during this time. Um, and you can watch your moon sign and rising sign readings as well to gain extra clarification. Uh, please take the messages that resonate with you from this general reading, the messages that make sense for you and your situation at this time, because those are the messages that are meant for you uh, from this general reading. And these energies um, are the main energies that you know are coming through for you, um, either throughout this time frame or um, at one point or another in this time frame okay remember the energy is fluid it's not you know set in stone or rigid just because we put a time frame on it doesn't mean that it is going to be exactly according to our time frame because um, you know that rarely happens it's just giving you guidance on the energies that are coming through at some point during the next couple of weeks okay so uh, the deck that I'm using, the Radiant Rider Weight Tarot in a tin, so that is the smaller version. The Hanson Roberts Tarot deck, which is a personal favorite, and I did a review on it. If you're interested, you can find it on my website or um, my YouTube channel. Uh, and the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck by John Holland. And the Daily Guidance from Your Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. Um, and speaking of my website, you could head to my website if you're interested in the posts that um, are on there. Or go to the services page if you're interested in private readings that I offer, okay? So, Aquarius. The overall energy for you. We have the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. So in terms of overall energy, this is really good for you. The Knight of Cups is talking about an offer being extended to you, okay, or things, okay, multiple offers coming your way. With the Ace of Pentacles, this is, um, it, this has to do with uh, something that will give you a new beginning. Uh, so this can be a new home, a new job, a new way of making money. This could be your own personal business that you're starting to get off the ground. This could be marriage proposals. This could be getting married, getting engaged during this time. Um, this could be a pregnancy coming in for someone, okay, some of you, or someone close to you or your partner. With the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups, okay, definitely, that's definitely a possibility. That's definitely an option. Um, and it's just beautiful time of creation new beginnings that will bring you stability, security, harmony for a long time to come, okay, provided you nurture this opportunity and you give it your best. Um, and with the Knight of Cups, it's really telling me that this is going to truly make you happy. This is going to truly make your heart fill with joy. This is something you have either been trying to manifest for a while or this is a dream of yours that is coming true, okay? Career and finances, we have the Wheel of Fortune and, this is jumping out of my hand, the Three of Wands. So in terms of career and finances, this is really looking great. This is definitely new jobs coming in for a lot of you. This is also talking about promotion, as advancements, progress in your work. Um, this is, you know, the wheel turning, so um, unexpected offers or things you weren't, things that you were hoping for but not really expecting them so soon or things that you, you know, completely catch you off guard that you didn't even think, you know, these things were an option, um, you didn't even think you, you know, qualified for this or had what it takes for this. Um, and so it completely, you know, turns your world upside down, but in a very good way, in a very positive way. So the Wheel of Fortune is talking about, you know, fortune coming your way, 
okay so this could be a, this you know should be a time when your money is improving or something is in, is changing that is taking you in the direction of more money and more security and stability when it comes to your finances this is also you know a turn of events so if you've been trying working hard to manifest something and it really you know wasn't happening for you just know that with the wheel of fortune this is really turning around in your favor with the ace of pentacles there's definitely options offers being made to you we have the the ace of pentacles and the knight of cups and they both talk about an offer being extended to you and this offer is going to bring you success with the three of wands is going to bring you success is going to be, bring you prosperity and it will make you feel happy and accomplished okay and content so like I say, this could be anything. This could be a new job. This could be an offer coming in for you out of the blue. You have a job, but someone is scouting you um, or headhunting you. This could be a promotion that you didn't really expect or a promotion that you didn't know you were considered for. This could be travel. It could be a change of location. or it, So it could be a new job. So you change the location of the job. Or it could be you either you know um, get transferred to a better position or get transferred to a different location that is a lot better for you that is giving you a lot you know an easier time at work but this is progress this is unexpected progress unexpected gain okay coming your way And like I say, it is, you know, bringing in success of all kinds for you, okay? Success in terms of recognition, appreciation, good reputation, success in terms of money, and success in terms of feeling happy and accomplished with everything that is going on for you, okay? It's a really beautiful time for you when it comes to career and finances. When it comes to home and family, we have the Queen of Swords and the Moon card. Okay, for some of you, you're pregnant and you're keeping it a secret until you make sure, okay, whatever that means for you. There's a sense of secrecy that is coming across, okay? There's a sense of secrecy that is happening within the, the home, within the family. There could be people getting married in secret eloping that kind of situation it could also be talking about a new home okay so a house move and you have been in the dark about this because um, you haven't heard back from them in a while but now you receive the communication you were hoping for you receive the good news and you are actually getting the house For others, this is either you or you are helping someone in your family overcome their fears, overcome their doubts, and really go for something, really apply for something. The moon is also talking about things coming to light, okay? And the queen of swords is all about clarity and um, having a bird's eye view um, of a situation over a situation and knowing exactly what to do having the clarity of mind and the courage to make the decisions you need to be making and I really feel like this has to do with a new home a marriage or a pregnancy that has been kept under wraps for one reason or another And so there is a sense of truth and clarity that is coming through for this situation. This could also be this could also be a time when you may be focused more on work or you may be focused more on your 
thoughts and um, and so you're not particularly emotional during this time and so potentially your family doesn't know how to read you they're not sure what's going on with you so if this is the case uh, try to be more open try to be more communicative and there's also a sense of you protecting your family or protecting your family's investment um, from people who may be jealous or trying to figure out what you did so they can copy you or something like that or false friends okay protecting your family and your your home and your investments from false friends and if you're not doing that um, you know look into that there may be someone around you who you really shouldn't be trusting as much as you do when it comes to love life and romantic relationships we have the sun and we have the queen of swords again okay so this is a double message so it's really um to me it's really talking about you know this being you because it is the queen of swords so this is an air sign so it can be a gemini a gemini a libra or an aquarius okay but when it shows up in your reading it's really talking about yourself so with the queen of swords the sun card knight of cups and the ace of pentacles together when it comes to your love life for those of you who are single there's someone headed your way and this person has all the right intentions and this is someone who you could truly build a life with and you know get the family and the the white picket house and, uh, and all of that and with the queen of swords it's telling me that you should lower your guard with this person you know obviously take your time but if you see them really trying and your your gut is telling you that you can trust them give them a chance okay that is what the card is saying you don't have to be so guarded all the time you can let someone get close to you especially now okay this is someone who like i say is very positive um is really you know trying to spend more time with you and get to know you better and you're really gonna have a lot of fun with this person. They're gonna make you laugh. They're gonna make you, um, you know, they're gonna get you to do fun stuff. They're gonna get you to open up more. So just give them a chance. For others, there's definitely children involved, okay? If you have been, um, you know, if you are in an established bond, there's definitely a pregnancy happening so if you don't want that to happen try to take precautions but there's only pregnancies um, that are definitely a potential okay for um, a lot of you during this time because we have the knight of cups the ace of pentacles and the sun card and they're all making me think of children and there's also um, an angel on the queen of swords chair throne and it's you know a child's face so definitely children, um, their possibility, pregnancies are a definite po possibility for you during this time. For others, like I say, this is someone coming in, trying to get to know you better, trying to start a relationship with you, trying to um, move things, you know, towards um, a relationship. This could be someone that you have been spending time with, that you've been having fun with, but they're really trying to... Um, get things to move in a different in a different direction. This could be someone who is a friend almost. Um, I mean, you know that they may be wanting more from you, but you're just enjoying them as a friend at this time and just having fun and you know going out, hanging out, watching movies, whatever, doing fun stuff together. And during this time, they're really trying to you know get you to look at them as a potential romantic partner as well. And so they may be offering this to you. And like I say, don't be so guarded. You have already, you know, spent some time with this person and you already have a sense of their intentions. And so it's okay for you to trust them and lower your guard little by little. Okay, take your time, obviously, but give them a chance is what is coming across. And again, this could be something, someone completely new that is coming through and um give them a chance okay that is what is coming through just give them a chance overall guidance for you we have the harmony card um 
And we've had, I think, most of the cards that have come through for overall guidance, overall energy, um, have been major arcana cards. Okay, so a lot of us are going through changes. So with this harmony card in your overall energy, this is actually the lovers in the traditional tarot. So it's definitely telling me that there is a, an emphasis on personal relationships, romantic relationships during this time for you. You really have a beautiful opportunity to start something that is going to, you know, get you to the dream home, to the family, to the peace and harmony and love and support um, type future, okay, with this person. Um, you really need to give them a chance. You really need to um, consider this before you say yes or before you say no. But this is really good energy for you. So um, again, you know, trust your intuition. If it really doesn't feel like something you want to do, then obviously don't do it. But uh, if your intuition is telling you, yes, this is good, trust it. Okay, if you're feeling happy when you're with this person, if you have fun, if you enjoy yourself, if you feel alive, they make you feel beautiful, um, then that is how you know that this is something that is right for you. Um, if you are hanging out with someone and you do have fun, but there's something you know, bothering you, something in the back of your head that is really, you know, telling you, I don't know, I don't know, this doesn't feel, you know, right, I'm, I'm not really sure about this, I don't know, um, I'm not sure I want to proceed with this, I don't, I don't, I don't think I can trust this person, then obviously trust that intuition, trust that gut feeling, okay, but just make sure that it is not your fear talking, that's very important, make sure that it's your intuition that you're connected to and not your fear of getting hurt, okay, but there is a sense of harmony that is coming through for you, okay, with the Wheel of Fortune card, with the, the Ace of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, the Sun card, okay, there's a sense of harmony being restored, balance being restored to your life at this time, um, a sense of of progress, of moving in a direction that is closer to your dreams, that is closer to what you want to do to be happy, what makes you happy, what makes you um, smile and feel alive. That is what, you know, the general sense of these couple of weeks is for you. So that's really, really beautiful energy, okay? And like I say, love is emphasized during this time. So current relationships, getting better, moving to the next level, making babies, you know, getting married, getting proposed to, anything like that, and then beautiful new potential for new relationships to form, okay? So just give them a chance. And then guidance message for you, we have energy work. And this is telling you that life can be electrifying because its very essence is energy. Your body is a remarkable energy field that will positively respond to loving treatments. So again, we have a child in the picture Okay, so definitely pregnancies, guys. I'm just trying to get it to focus. There we go. A mother and a child. Your hands and heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and clients. So, if you are involved in any kind of energy work, know that uh, your healing abilities are enhanced during this time. Uh, know that healing is coming in for you in all, you know, ways and shapes and forms. Emotional healing, okay, for a lot of you is coming through. Um, and the guidance is allow for healing to come through. Allow for um, positivity and happiness to come through. Don't put up a barrier, okay? Don't put up a wall between you and the beauty that could be coming your way. Again, allow love to come in and heal any kind of blockages, energy, energetic blockages that you may have. And a lot of them are in your heart chakra or around your heart chakra, okay? Because you have been hurt in the past and you really do have your guard up with the Queen of Swords showing up twice in your reading, okay? So there's a lot of healing coming in for you with this new relationship or this new phase in your relationship. And you need to allow it. Okay, it's very important that you allow for this energy to come through because it will bring you a lot more love, support, balance, harmony to your life, okay, to your entire life because it will heal you from the inside out, okay? So once you feel better and happier, 
then you can create more and more happiness around you, okay? It starts from within. So this is a really beautiful message, message for you guys, okay? I'm really, really excited um, for you. Please do let me know how the cards make sense to you, if they do, how they apply to your particular situation. Leave me a comment in the section below. Um, and also, you know, keep me posted on how your weeks are going. Keep me posted on what is going on. Who's getting married? Who's making babies? What jobs are coming in? What's what's happening for you, okay? It's really a positive message for you, okay? I think it's the most positive reading I've done today um, for you. And I'm almost done with all the signs. So, um, like I say, give it a chance. That's the main message for you. Give it a chance, okay? Whatever it is, in whichever area of life it applies to you. Okay, so thank you very much, very much for being here with me and thank you for your support. I hope you have an absolutely loving, healing time ahead of you and I will talk to you soon. Okay, take care.